softer here. As you can see I have made this uh, line here it's kind of curved it's not straight but it doesn't matter because uh, the edge of the field is curved as well so if I plow the headland afterwards here with that curve uh, it's gonna kind of match up to the edge of the field as well uh, and the, the, the thing about plowing straight it's it's only uh, it, it only looks good but you don't have to plow exactly straight uh, what you can't do with a plow is take too tight of a turn that's the only thing but you can you can definitely plow a curve i gotta watch where i'm going as you can see this little field here it's uh, basically a, a small rectangle with rounded uh, edges so it's uh, quite easy to plow but it's also it actually it's basically square and that sucks because it feels like you're just putting down the you're just putting down the plow in the, the ground and then you drive for like 20 seconds and then you have to lift it so and that sucks uh, but what, you, what are you gonna do about that that's it's uh, that's life also we're gonna set up how high we lift the plow every time we lift it because I'm gonna lift it with these buttons here uh, automatically between a, a set low point and a set high point uh, if you've driven one of these tractors modern tractors then you already know about this but if you haven't then we're just gonna turn this knob here you see that's the maximum height setting and it's maximum now and it doesn't need to go that high so we're just gonna turn that down maybe to six uh, and then we drop it down and then we lift it again with this uh, speed buttons and see how high it goes. Ah, uh, we can go a little bit higher. Well, let's go to uh, let's go to seven, uh, and that's good enough. That's going to be okay. We just need to lift it so it doesn't touch the ground when it's lifted. It doesn't need to go any higher. Also, it's nice to kind of find the exact middle of the field and that's always hard because it's uh, down to basically uh, well down to basically uh, a meter and a half uh, so 
it's hard to find the exact middle just by eyeballing and it's uh, it's not worth going out and measuring it uh, <coughs> right so also uh, I'm using this uh, hole here uh, the, the, this long hole and not the fixed ones because I want to give the plow a little bit of leeway when it's in the ground it's gonna be uh, it's gonna work as a semi mounted plow instead of a mounted plow so it's gonna rest on the wheel and on the arms there so I'm gonna get most of the weight from the plow at the front of the plow at least I'm gonna get that on the rear tires so I get better traction uh, and also uh, it functions a little bit differently so I, it doesn't really matter how I have set up the top link and yeah I'm not gonna go into that if you're gonna see now also the amazing amounts of bullshit you're gonna plow up when you have a field like this with all these small bushes it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a nightmare to plow but we're, we have to do it so and also since I'm uh, have set it up to work kind of like a semi-mounted plow it's also important that I set up uh, a lower limit for the lifts arm lift arms because uh, it's gonna go down to that level and that's gonna it's gonna uh, decide the the angle of the plow the angle of attack basically and it has to go straight into the ground so we set it up by turning this wheel up to something we're gonna have to uh, it's trial and error basically because it doesn't it's the numbers are just numbers it, it's not a specific height not that I know at least but we're gonna set it to that and uh, we're gonna see how it goes and I, I have to adjust that when I drive this first furrow to to uh, let it find a place where it's uh, kind of level caught some of the bullshit so uh, this is this is gonna be what it's like to, to plow here today it's gonna suck completely all right I've removed this uh, crap now from the plow I'm gonna try again uh, this is also just another reason why I want the, the roots out of the ground before I plow because they just uh, the plow can't cut them now when I go back I'm gonna uh, I'm going to try to go with the, uh, the right hand side wheel uh, on top of the, the, uh, the tails uh, because as you saw the first furrow it didn't plow very deep it actually plowed uh, some of the parts it doesn't they didn't plow anything it has only put tails on top of uh, unplowed soil The ugliest start I've ever <laughs> I've ever done with this uh, this method uh, or lack of method basically because it's just a, a way to skip some of the some of the work uh, but it's uh, and also I plowed a little uh, crooked because I wasn't watching where I'm go watching where I was going uh, but I don't care about that so now we're gonna measure how deep it plows it's deep it's very deep <laughs> it is 
not really straight it should be completely straight like this but it isn't it's leaning that way uh, and that's bad it's, uh, it's horizontal like that and I can feel that in the tractor as well because it's it doesn't struggle to pull it. it it goes through the soil kind of easily and that's the way it should be uh, but I have to change the length of this because it's uh, working all the way in the back so it's kind of holding it up uh, it's not working like a semi mounted at the moment so I'm gonna change that a little bit and then uh, adjust the height of the height of the lift arms I'm not even using four-wheel drive and I'm not using the differential lock either. I can enable it anyway by pushing these buttons. Uh, they have two... Uh, uh, you can push it down uh, in two steps. And the first step, uh, it has the four-wheel drive and differential lock uh, engaged when I have the lift arms lowered uh, with this auto control system. Uh, uh, so it, it doesn't use uh, four-wheel drive and differential lock when I have lifted it and that's kind of e nice because uh, You have to turn on the headland so you can't use the differential lock there uh, So it's nice that it disengages automatically As you can see it turned out kind of great uh, In the start was bad of course, but then uh, then it kind of I, I changed uh, a few settings I changed the the depth and the length of the top link so it could follow the ground more properly so it straightened up the plow straightened up so it's more uh, vertical now and uh, so it plows uh, even depth on all uh, all three furrows time this fe these fields were plowed that's 22 years ago and uh, uh, that was uh, me plowing so that's uh, kind of sad really it's a quarter of a century basically I, I remember it because uh, I got stuck I was using the other tractor the red the old one and uh, it's only a two-wheel drive and I was driving down there where where there's wet and I got stuck there just sank. So I was there. I was there 3,000 years ago when man failed.
right so I'm, I'm just gonna cut across like that now for the headlands it, it, normally it's very undramatic but because we got so much roots and stuff in the ground uh, it's just gonna plug the plow uh, especially down here where it's uh, more wet and uh, there were these uh, really big trees and the birch and whatever some other bullshit I'm just going straight across these now just to, uh, to plow the headlands here uh, th on this edge uh, it's uh, very undramatic it's always only the the first run like that across to, to draw up the well the edge on the headlands it's always that one that uh, turns out quite uh, ugly and, and bad and uh, it doesn't turn over the, the tills properly so there's always gonna be weeds coming up there uh, but uh, it doesn't matter to me it's worse if you are growing grains and other bullshit Actually the hole, let's see now if the front wheel goes down, yeah, it goes down into the hole where uh, from the rear wheel of the, uh, the other tractor uh, when I got stuck, when I plowed this uh, 22 or something years ago, 3000 years ago, that was, uh, that was the place, that was the, the hole, oh my god these roots I like the sound when they break so I'm plowing all the way down into uh, on the slope towards the ditch uh, I do that so that the water can uh, flow along the furrow and down into the ditch because it's so wet here it's better to drain away uh, in whatever way I can because I can't I can't fix the ditch uh, uh, now I have to do that later 